Hey guys, I wanted to talk to you really quickly about limited beliefs. I don't know if in the area of your life you're in right now, if that's a common topic, but I hear it all the time in the industry that I'm in, um, talking about not having limited beliefs, that you need to, that limited beliefs is what's stopping you from getting to that next chapter in your life, to hitting your goals. And yes, all of that is true, but I'm a firm believer that in order to get past your limited beliefs, you need a couple things. One, you need someone to show you how to get past those. Someone who's actually walked in your shoes, who knows how it feels to be stuck financially or whatever. Two, you need someone cheering you on and coaching and training you to get past those limited beliefs. One of my limited beliefs, and I want to do like a whole series of this, but one of my limited beliefs growing up was that because I was a single mom, I got pregnant in high school by the gardener, different story for a different day. However, I was told because I was a young teenage mom, which I'm sure a lot of you have heard this before, that I would never be able to be successful or be a professional or have anything nice. Fast forward 25 years, I have an amazing husband. My son is well, he's married, he's a rock star. His wife's a rock star. We have an amazing family. That was not true, but that those comments when I was so young led me to having limited beliefs. So I wanna encourage anyone out there who might be struggling with thinking that they can actually do the things, the passions and desires they have in their life, I want to encourage you to let you know that you can get past those things, that you don't have to accept what other people are projecting for your future. You have the resources. God has purposed you with the gifts to do the things that you're desiring in your heart. So you got this, boo. Don't get stuck on your limited belief system. Know that you've been created for greatness and you can do this.